And now, GB News can reveal France is battling against a series of migrant-related violent incidents. Yes, after a migrant was stabbed to death near Dunkirk last week, a video posted to social media shows migrants clashing with people smugglers as they try to force themselves onto small boats without paying. Well, joining us now to discuss this is our Home and Security Editor, Mark White. And Mark, what have you found? Well, it is growing levels of violence now in northern France, and that's violence really amongst migrants uh, who are clashing with people smuggling gangs and also the migrants clashing with French authorities. It's getting really quite violent. We're seeing uh, pretty much on a daily basis now violence erupting across northern France. The video you're looking at there is the latest example of that. It's on a beach called Wee Plage, which is near Dunkirk. And there, are a group of migrants in the video that you're seeing just now are clashing with French police who've moved in to do what the French police try to do when they get an, uh, an idea that there is a boat about to launch, which is to get up to that boat and to puncture it. Uh, this occasion saw the police being pelted with stones and sticks and bottles. Uh, the police fired tear gas back, but eventually they were forced to retreat onto their beach buggies and escape uh, the beach itself because it was just too violent for them there. And in addition to that, uh, this migrant on migrant violence uh, that we've been seeing escalating as well. So on that same stretch of beach, uh, just a short while before these video images were taken, a big uh, uh, eruption of violence that took place in which uh, at least six migrants were injured, two of them were stabbed multiple times. And what we believe that was uh, sparked by uh, was attempts by some of the migrants to get onto these dinghies without paying the people smugglers. Sources have told us that uh, African migrants in particular simply don't have the money to pay the people smugglers thousands of pounds to get on these boats. And what they do instead is they wait for the boats to launch and then they try and rush the boats and just push their way on. But of course, they come again, uh, up against the people smugglers. Uh, many of the people smugglers are armed uh, and they meet out their own form of justice and on occasions that can involve migrants being stabbed. So two migrants, a Sudanese man aged 20, a 24-year-old Sudanese woman suffered multiple stab injuries, four, that, four others uh, suffered less serious stab injuries. And this follows an incident just a week ago uh, at a, a migrant camp not far from this beach near Dunkirk where another migrant was stabbed to death. So really quite serious situation that is now escalating, uh, worsening uh, on a daily basis. And Mark, why do you suspect these violent clashes are increasing in frequency? Well, there's a desperation. There's a desperation on the part of those migrants, as I say, mainly African migrants who cannot afford the thousands of pounds to get on the small boats and the determination of the criminal gangs to jealously guard the business they have. Clearly, from their point of view, they don't want people getting on these boats and not paying them. They're making millions of pounds in a good week in the English Channel by pushing these boats out. But because of that business model, just like the ruthless business model we see with the drugs industry, uh, these people smuggling gangs are just as ruthless in the way that they enforce the business model that they have. And anyone not willing to conform to that, anyone trying to push their way onto the boats are dealt with very violently indeed. But as I say, that's one aspect of it. The other aspect is the fact that the French authorities are increasing increasingly meeting uh, what is uh, quite a violent response from the migrants as the French continue with the tactics of trying to puncture those boats. It really does make you think for the people that are trying to enforce this. There are now uh, joint patrols in some areas of these beaches. Much, much British taxpayer money has been going to, to fund these patrols. But to be honest, you can see what a tricky, tricky task it is when they're met with such violence 
and resistance from some of these migrants. Uh, Mark White, thank you so much for bringing us the very latest there concerning scenes on those French beaches.